Okay folks, a new micro SD card in this phone. Um, time to start it off. This day's looking a little bit muggy, a little bit muggy, but yeah, it's meant to get to about 29 degrees today. Uh, feels pretty warm in this bedroom, but I don't think it's quite hot enough yet to put the fan in. The fan's running in the lounge room. This photocopy is doing some strange shit. <laughs> Don't know what that was about. Sounding funny. I hope nothing's going wrong. Making some funny noises, folks. I hope this is not our first real fault. We can't get it fixed if it, if it is because it's the 2nd of January. They don't come back until the company doesn't come back until the 2nd of January. No, the 8th of January, which is next Monday. So hopefully there's nothing actually wrong with this equipment. Uh, I just hope it keeps running. Uh, okay, now let's see what we have. We have here found this, I think it was a couple of days, yesterday or the day before, uh, yeah, I think this was just, oh fuck, I've forgotten folks, I just don't care, <laughs> we're just going to photocopy it and be done with it folks, <laughs> so yeah, this is obviously off a wine, wine um, bottle, or a, 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 a box of wine found this um, at a bus stop. Uh, let's see how it goes. Let's see if this photocopier is still going to run. Don't know what was happening. Photocopiers are very complicated and strange equipments. Uh, yeah, they do some pretty weird shit sometimes. Yes, that's partly what makes them so fascinating. And that's come up looking a treat. Uh, I'm going to use... I'm going to... Actually, yeah, the actual... It looks a bit wishy-washy, actually. But the actual... I've got it in the right place, pretty much, on the glass. Got pretty much what we want here for a start. So that's a good start. It's a bit crooked, though, but you don't notice the crookedness in the actual design. So now I think we're going to darken it. Heard a siren go by. Makes me think of Channel 9 and their stupid, um, stupid love of crime and all that sort of shit. I don't understand why they always keep, they don't want to play my material. They just play all the same old ordinary crap that they like to play. Which is just shit. And now we've made it too fucking dark. Look at it, folks. That is atrocious. <laughs> Uh, that looks terrible. It's awful. Um, I think we've darkened it too much. Yes, we have. Maybe we're just going to lighten it to there. Or maybe we're just going to put it there where we would normally put it. Maybe it's the text enhance as well. That might have done it. Yeah, the photocopy is making some funny noises. Um, it's not sounding quite like it normally does. Like I'm used to. Uh, now that's come up looking better. Still looks a bit dark and shady. I think maybe we'll take out some of the lightness and hopefully the text enhance will keep the blacks nice and black on the dark areas. But yeah, that's one thing I hate about photocopiers is that they break too easily. Even though that would make, make them fascinating because hey, I wanted to be a technician when I was when I was in year eight high school when I was 13 and that's come up wishy-washy and still backgroundy uh, still got a lot of background uh, I don't know what to do with it folks maybe a bit of background removal but it might take out some of the density as well 
So we're just going to find where the background removal is. I can't find the fucker. Stupid dumb piece of shit this equipment is. So we just did that. Yeah, still looks wishy-washy, um, but it looks better than that in some ways. Maybe we could use that as our master copy. I don't know which one I want to use. We'll use this one. This looks, the blacks are good, but the, the shading is too much in the background. So I'm going to use that one. Um, maybe darken it or not. Yeah, but I'm really missing my loved one, folks. I'm really missing Luigi. I'm going to use this. I really miss my partner, Luigi. It really hurts to be separated from someone that you really love and care for. And I just get so lonely without him. I really need to get in touch with him. I'm really trying so fucking hard to get on the 6 o'clock news in order to find him. I don't want to be single anymore. I've never liked being single. Not since I was 10 years old. I, since I was a 10 year old, I always wanted to get married and it never happened. Um, I made mistakes. I, did, I made so many fucking errors and blunders in my youth that now I have to accept what I've done and accept that I can't currently get in touch with my partner however much I really so desperately need to because it really hurts my functioning, it really hurts my feelings that I can't get in touch. And I think I've done this the wrong way. This is not getting off to a very good start, folks. Oh, I know, I've got to enlarge it more on the, on the horizontal and I've got to move this across because I'll end up getting that. Uh, It's looking wishy-washy. Looks shit house, folks. I like this one, but I just don't like the background. But I might use it. Um, I'm going to just put that so aside and use this one. But I'm really lonely and I really need to get in touch with my partner. And I need to get in touch with... I just need the Channel 9 to just... Show me some fucking clemency. You know, show me some fucking sympathy, empathy. You know, if you're fucking so-called neurotypical and you're not fucking autistic like I am, you're not suffering from high-functioning autism, um, even though I've not been actually diagnosed, but I do suspect it very strongly that I... It is extremely likely that I have got high-functioning autism. Now, if you, you neurotypicals in the newsroom pride yourselves on being so-called normal and so-called rational and socially um, socially responsible if I don't know if that's the right term that's usually used to describe how a CEO should treat people uh, and the and as, as a CEO but basically if you think you're so fucking socially adept and that you're not suffering from Asperger syndrome, like well, you, 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 you care that I'm a, I'm another social, social being, and that you allow my stuff to go to air. That's come up looking really quite nice, despite that background. I do like the colour of the shapes in that. Um, I think that's good. I might maybe lessen the horizontal. Because I really need to get in touch with my partner Luigi. I get so lonely, it gets really hard to deal with the loneliness that I'm dealing with. And loneliness is like smoking, um, what's it called? Chron chron chronic loneliness is like smoking the equivalent of 15 cigarettes a day. That's how it affects the health of someone who's 
got to deal with it. That looks even better. I'm going to try and maybe even go even further. Or maybe leave it at that. But I get really lonely, folks. And it really gets to me. And I'm just struggling to survive on the cigarettes that I'm supposed... Not, not real cigarettes, but, but the uh, imaginary ones. The effect that it has. And I get lonely and the loneliness is killing me, folks. And I'm not rich. I've got to deal with the economic side of things too because socio, I'm socio, socio-economically disadvantaged, both socially and economically. That's how I understand the word uh, socio-economic to mean. I'm, I'm not in a good financial situation and I'm not in a very good social situation. So I'm both stuffed up in those areas. I am. I don't have any uh, anything on you fucking news people. You know, you news people make a lot of money. You make fucking bog loads of, of cash. Or should, not cash, but you know what I mean, money. You make a fucking load of money. You get paid to present the news. You get paid for this... You get paid to whoever... Well, there's different types of jobs in the newsroom, I know, but you all get paid a lot of money to do what you do. And I just wish you'd fucking earn your fucking pay, little shit house. I just wish you fucking news people would earn your fucking pay and do something useful for someone less fortunate than yourself. You know, you're fucking mostly normal people. You're mostly neurotypical. You like to pride yourselves on being normal and being average or maybe being, you know... And yet you don't care about someone who's down in the dumps who's just trying to have another another crack at life, a fair go. You know the Aussie thing called the fair go, mate? The fair go. Where is the fair go, you fuckwits? You call yourselves Australian? You're not Australian, you fuckwits. You're farce. You're a farce. You're not fucking Aussie. Aussie my ass. Sorry. Fucking Channel 9. You fucking swine. You call yourselves Aussie. You fucking want to pride yourselves on being fucking Australian and giving a fair go to those less fortunate. And I forgot to fucking put the mirror image. Sorry. You call yourselves, you call yourselves fucking Aussies. You fucking want to pride yourselves on being enthused about celebrations like New Year's Eve and Christmas Eve. You know, you fucking idiots, folks. You know, you think you're so fucking clever. You know, you make a lot of money and you don't fucking do anything for less fortunate people like myself. Who, I'm disabled. I don't want to be recognised for my disability. I don't want to live on Centrelink anymore. I don't want to work in a disabled, a disability enterprise anymore, an Australian disability enterprise. I want to work, I want to be an artist. I want to be free. I want to be with my Luigi. And I want to be happy. I can't find Luigi. I'm depending on you, Channel 9. And that's come up looking really a treat. I need your help, Channel 9. Please. I've just turned 51 on January the 1st and I'm not getting any younger. I wanted to spend that time with Luigi and you fucking ruined my birthday. Go to hell.